All right, so today we're going to do two different things. We're going to talk about how we convert a mixed number to an improper fraction and then how we undo that and convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. Converting between a mixed number to an improper fraction is pretty easy. All you have to do is go around the world and you're going to multiply and then add. So I'm going to put in my calculator 19, oops, 19 times 10 plus 2. And that's going to give me 192. And then I keep the denominator the same. And that's all we have to do. So I'm going to do that one more time. Go around the world, multiply, then add. So 19 times, sorry y'all, 19 times 8 plus 2, ah, plus 2 equals 154. Keep the denominator the same. So each one of these problems, you need to go around the world, you need to multiply, then add, and then keep the denominators the same. Around the world, multiply, then add. That's all you have to do for this side of the paper. Now on the other side, you'll notice that there are um, improper fractions. The numerator is greater than the denominator. So um, what that means is we need to, this is fine when we're working with operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing fractions. This is actually how we want it to do when we're working it. But the final answer doesn't need this. We need the final answer to be a mixed number. So the way we have to do that is do some division. This right here really means 12 divided by 7. So a fraction actually is a representation of division with this fraction bar right here meaning to divide. So you really read this 12 divided by 7. So I write it 12 divided by 7. And so I come in with some long division. And I place the first number in the house. It's always the first number. Not which one's bigger, but which one comes first. Order matters, size doesn't. Second number on the outside of the house. Then I can take my calculator and do 12 divided by 7. Same way I put it here. And you see all these decimal numbers? I don't care about the decimal numbers. I care about the number in front of the decimal. That's my whole number. That's how many times... 7 will go into 12. So it'll go in there one time. And then I multiply. 1 times 7 is 7. And then I subtract. 12 minus 7 is 5. Okay? So here you would usually write remainder 5. Well, that's not what we're doing. We're dealing with fractions. So I come back to my original denominator was 7. So it's going to stay 7. And then my remainder comes up top, and that's my numerator. So my answer is 1 and 5 sevenths. Okay, I want to try and look at number 6 here real quick. So number 6 reads 9 divided by 6. So I'm going to write it 9 divided by 6. So I can put my calculator 9 divided by 6. I get a 1 in front of the decimal. That's what I want. 1 times 6 is 6. When I subtract, I get 3. My original denominator was 6. So that's what it's going to stay. My remainder comes up here. Now we also need to simplify our fractions. So what I can do is I can take this fraction right here and place it in the slide. And then when I work the slide, I find out that 3 6 is also equivalent to 1 half. So the best answer is 1 and 1 half. So what you need to do every time you get a fraction, you need to try and put it in the slide to see if it can simplify. Okay, so I need you to try all these and then also try all these on the back. All right, if you have questions, restart the video and go all the way back and see what you can do. Okay.